हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यूर डूइंग फाइन सो टूडे वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट रीच टूअर्ड्स द एंड देर इज वन मोर स्मॉल टॉपिक लेफ्ट लास्ट टाइम वी हैड डेल्ट विद लाइफ स्टाइल डिजीजेस विच वेर दे राइट डायबिटीज हाइपर टेंशन एंड वॉट वॉज द अदर वन करेक्ट obesity right okay this time we are going to deal with nutrition nutri uh, nutrient deficiency diseases all right so we will we have studied about the different types of nutrients i hope you remember uh, proteins carbohydrates fats right and then we have vitamins we have minerals so all these form the part of balanced diet right and we have to take them in the right proportions always it's not that just one day i have balanced diet and next day i don't so it's all right no it isn't when we are uh, eating when we have you know we form a pattern of eating we have to ensure that we eat balanced diet throughout i can understand there are days when you know you are going out you are traveling you are partying it's fine but on an average you are diet should have all these nutrients eventually throughout your life correct so let's have a look at the nutrient deficiency diseases today our body requires all the nutrients in the right amount to keep the body healthy lack of particular nutrient for a prolonged period of time leads to certain diseases now the word here prolonged means for a very long period of time if you are not having a proper diet then it will lead to certain diseases and what are these diseases called as these are called as nutrition nutritional deficiency diseases all right you can see here plenty of vegetables and fruits when you don't have enough of these causes deficiency diseases right so this is what it tells that for a prolonged period of time when you are not having proper diet then it can lead to nutritional deficiency diseases so deficiency diseases are caused due to the deficiency of nutrients in our food right what are they protein deficiency diseases carbohydrate deficiency diseases vitamins deficiency diseases and minerals deficiency diseases so all these deficiency will lead to some discomfort some disease of the body and the discomfort is just not restricted for a you know for a particular period of time it leads to the diseased condition where the or any one particular organ might be affected or the entire functioning of the body could be affected usually when we look at the deficiency in nutrients it affects largely the functioning of the entire body all right so we are going to study initially first the proteins and carbohydrates deficiency diseases then we move on to vitamins and minerals deficiency diseases this is the first deficiency disease that you are going to study that is washiorkar now the name is little different and difficult because it's not very commonly heard name and k is silent when you pronounce but we will have to spell it out you have to write k okay so this is observed in children who are above 1 year old that is beyond 12 months and this is basically the deficiency of protein okay so this is protein energy malnourished children who uh, this is observed in extremely impoverished conditions that is people are very very poor who are unable to provide uh, proper food to their children and lack of proteins mainly leads to washiorkar all right 
so it affects children above one year about you know 12 months plus the uh, disease is usually seen affecting children and what are the symptoms you can see here the large pot like belly can clearly see the abdomen is swollen that is because there's a lot of fluid liquid retention in the body same is the reason why the swelling of face and limbs again liquid or fluid it's not liquid but for you to understand at your level it is nothing but water retention in the body then skin diseases happen stunted growth what is stunted growth the growth is improper it doesn't happen as per the norms of age and weight in other kids of same age right so there is a proper growth for normal kids but this kids because of lack of proteins they la uh, show stunted growth since protein is mainly responsible for growth all right then mental retardation so here the mental abilities are not working to the fullest capacity and hence the there is you know uh, the um, capabilities of their mental abilities are definitely reduced if compared to the children of their age all right so these are the symptoms that you need to remember maybe you will be shown the picture of this particular disease children and you will be asked to identify what are the what is the disease that you see in the picture and then you might be asked to write any two or three symptoms of this particular disease so due to lack of proteins it happens so the, chil the children who are affected with this particular disease should be given a diet which is rich in proteins the next one is marasmus a marasmus is usually observed in children below year one year of age okay now this is caused by lack of proteins as well as carbohydrates here energy means carbohydrates whereas in washi orkar it is mainly protein deficiency okay and what is one more difference there in washi orkar children above one year of age are affected here children below or uh, 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 below one year of age are affected okay again same similar not same similar retarded growth that is the growth is improper loss of weight the body is very thin lean body projected ribs okay so because of the lack of muscles here the ribs are usually seen sunken eyes and very dry skin these are the characteristics of marasmus you don't have to uh, learn much about this deficiency diseases only you need to know what causes the deficiency uh, and uh, sorry uh, what are the symptoms and what is basically lacking in this particular diseases okay so again here similar way of questioning you could be given an image or you could be given certain set of symptoms and based based on that you will be asked what disease is this to which this symptoms belong all right so you need to know the symptoms in both the diseases all right before we continue with our vitamins uh, and mineral deficiency diseases i want you to know about the categories of vitamins that are required by the body though this is not a part of your syllabus but still i i think you should know about this two groups one is water soluble vitamins and one is fat soluble vitamins all right now water soluble vitamins are vitamin b and c which are readily uh, you know dissolved in the water and uh, it it you cannot accumulate this in your body since we remove water in the form of urine so excess vitamin is never stored you know it keeps getting removed and also because of that reason we need to uh, refill it again and again whereas the fat soluble vitamins are vitamins a d e and k 
विच रिक्वायर फैट फॉर एब्जॉर्बन एंड दिस इफ वी टेक इन एक्सेस कैन कॉज प्रॉब्लम ओके सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वॉट एवर न्यूट्रिय वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्कसिंग ओवर ह्योर शुड बी टेकन इन द रिक्वायर्ड क्वांटिटी एंड नेवर मोर ऑल राइट नो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द चार्ट ऑफ विटामिन एंड मिनरल डेफिशियंसी डिजीजेस सो I have displayed here the vitamins that is vitamin A lack of vitamin A or deficiency of vitamin A causes night blindness and what are the symptoms of night blindness obviously when the name says it's night blindness that means the vision is normal during the daytime but lack of light okay lack of light causes blindness and poor vision loss of vision in darkness or night sometimes it can in excess can even lead to complete loss of vision then comes vitamin b though they have mentioned vitamin b one b is a you know it's a very complex vitamin because there are multiple forms of vitamin b we are just going to study about one that is berry berry and it causes the symptoms you will see weak muscles and very little energy to work vitamin b is a very important vitamin otherwise also for the conduction of the nerve impulses it's required it's a very important vitamin that you know we need then comes vitamin c which the deficiency disease it causes is scurvy symptoms are bleeding gums the gums you i hope you are aware of what are gums we have already studied the structure of teeth right so the gums they bleed wounds take longer time to heal and vitamin c is also a very important part of the defense system of your body correct they help in forming the soldiers of the body and help fight the pathogens or diseases right now all of us should definitely ensure that we eat fruits and vegetables rich in vitamin so that we are naturally protected from the corona virus and also otherwise we have to eat fruits and vegetables rich in vitamin c because that's very important for uh, keeping the immune system in its place keep it functioning what is the immune system immune system is the system of defense that helps our body or protects our body from the pathogens okay from the germs disease causing germs all right then comes vitamin d so lack of vitamin d causes rickets and in rickets what happens the bones become soft and bent so naturally occurring vitamin d is in the sunlight so with the help of the sunlight in our skin there are there are certain processes that occur and produce or synthesize vitamin d but for that we also need to have calcium all right so it helps in the production of vitamin d as well then calcium is a mineral so the remaining three are minerals so deficiency of mineral that is calcium deficiency will lead to bone and tooth decay because calcium is largely responsible for forming the bones although phosphorus is equally important in the formation of bone bones and teeth all right so weak bones and tooth decay will be the result of lack of calcium iodine we all know iodized salt why we need iodized salt so that we can get our daily dose of iodine and lack of iodine over a very long period of time can cause a disorder called as goiter please children the e comes at the end so it's goiter it's not er but it's r e and what happens there is a gland called as the thyroid gland in the neck which starts swelling up and can lead to again mental disability in the children they will not be able to function their brains to the fullest and the last one is iron 
so lack of iron will lead to anemia now iron is very very important you know why because it helps in the formation of a pigment called as hemoglobin now this hemoglobin is in your blood which gives that red color and what does hemoglobin do it carries oxygen and why is oxygen required yes we cannot even think for one second that we can manage without oxygen all right so every minute every second minute is a very long time millisecond i must say every second all the cells require oxygen and from the lungs it is the hemoglobin who takes up the responsibility of carrying the oxygen molecules to each and every cell of our body and hemoglobin needs iron to form all right so it's a pigment which is containing iron and hence iron becomes a very very important part of our diet i hope all of you have a balanced diet so that you don't have to face any of these deficiency disorders or diseases ever in your life right children okay so how will you uh, do away with this deficiency diseases obviously you will be eating the right type of food so that you get your daily dose of proteins you get daily dose of vitamins you get daily dose of all the minerals correct and then you don't have to suffer from any of these diseases you can see here the list of food uh, which is you know depicting various vitamins and minerals that are present so here in this case this is salmon fish which has got lot of vitamin d then avocados vitamin b the different b2 b5 b6 then iron vitamin e vitamin b present in the eggs broccoli has vitamin c vitamin k milk contains calcium vitamin b spinach contains iron vitamin e carrots contain vitamin a even papaya contains vitamin a oranges all the citrus fruits have vitamin c folic acid is present all right so you can see that if we have a proper kind of diet which you know includes all the proper nutrients definitely we will not be suffering from any diseases all right and for today i am not giving you any homework as such but you need to learn the disorders along with their deficiency of nutrients all right so you should know if there is deficiency of calcium what is the problem or disorder if there is deficiency of vitamin a what is the disorder i expect you to just learn that that's it for today all right so the next video will be the last video for this chapter and then i will be sending you a worksheet to solve is that clear all right take care